Bring on a writ of habeas corpus. The federal government has filed an unopposed petition for a writ of, writ of habeas corpus against Jeremy DeWitt for his federal tax fraud cases. As you can see here on the screen, the United States of America versus Jeremy Charles DeWitt. It's usually Jeremy against the world, but now it's the world against Jeremy. It says here, the United States of America respectfully moves for the court to set an arraignment and initial appearance hearing in the above captioned action for Jeremy DeWitt. They want the court to issue a writ directing any United States marshal to proceed to the Osceola County Jail and take the defendant Jeremy Charles DeWitt into their custody and have him appear before this federal court for an arraignment and the initial appearance hearing. And then at the conclusion of that hearing, return him to the Osceola County Jail. It says here on March 27, 2024, a grand jury in this district indicted DeWitt on two counts of filing false tax returns in violation of Chapter 20, Title 26 of U.S. Code. And then on April 2nd of 2024, a notice of hearing was issued setting DeWitt's arraignment and initial appearance for April 10th. DeWitt did not appear. The court then issued a minute entry rescheduling the initial appearance and arraignment hearing for April 11th. DeWitt still did not appear at that hearing. Then on April 11th, the court issued a bench warrant commanding the United States Marshal to arrest Jeremy DeWitt and bring him forthwith to the nearest magistrate to answer for these charges and for failure to appear. But since then, DeWitt has been detained in custody at the Osceola County Jail in Kissimmee, Florida, awaiting hearings and trials as a defendant in several state prosecutions, as we know. And in that regard, although the hearings have been continued several times and based on reviews of the state court dockets, the trials in two cases are scheduled to begin on August 19th. That's next week, people, with another trial scheduled for September 24th. It says, so there is not further postponement of DeWitt's arraignment and initial appearance in the federal case. They say it is necessary to have DeWitt brought before this court for those matters. And then the understanding counsel is conferred with counsel for Jeremy DeWitt, who does not oppose the relief requested herein. So it appears that Jeremy DeWitt will be arrested soon by federal marshals and taken out of the Osceola County Jail and brought to the Orlando District Division of the federal courts to be arraigned in his initial appearance. And this was signed by... Assistant Chief David Ziceron. And then to aid in their request, they have issued a writ of habeas corpus to any United States Marshal and to the warden of the Osceola County Jail. Warden G. And it basically says that the federal court has scheduled a hearing for De uh, Jeremy DeWitt's arraignment and initial appearance in the federal case for August 26th, 20. 24. So August 26 is Monday, the last Monday in August. So make sure you're subscribed to Police Tube at that time and that date so that we can uh, uh, cover what's going on in the trial. Jeremy DeWitt will be there. I don't think he's going to be avoiding this. This was issued and signed by Honorable Judge Embry J. Kidd of the United States Magistrate Judge, Orlando, Florida. In addition to that federal tax fraud case, which is going to give Jeremy some major problems uh, when he goes to court for that, he's also got some state charges that are going, as you know, in Osceola County Jail. little update in this one right now. There's a couple new documents on the docket, uh, the defense witness list and the notice of taking depositions. And apparently Jeremy DeWitt is going to use Jennifer as part of his alibi. So the prosecution has sent a letter a demand letter to Jeremy DeWitt's counsel, the um, public defender, Christina Smith, citing Rule 3.2 of the four Florida Rules of Criminal Procedure that state if you intend to offer evidence of an alibi in your defense, you are required to serve upon the prosecution not less than 10 days before the trial or at such time as the court may direct a notice in writing of these intentions to claim such an alibi. And the notice shall contain specific information as to the place at which you claim to have been at the time of the alleged offense, and as particularly as is known to you or your attorney, the names and addresses of the witnesses by whom you propose to establish such an alibi. 
Now, that's for his alibi in regards to failing to report change in vehicle ownership. Now, it looks like Jeremy wanted to use Jennifer, perhaps, as a witness again for him. The prosecution has filed this notice of deposition, and it was sent to Jeremy DeWitt's uh, counsel, that says that Jennifer Burton will be deposed. They're going to be interviewing her about what she's going to testify about on Thursday, August 29th at 2 p.m. at this address. Obviously, she's probably not going to show up. She never does. And if she does, they're probably going to say she's an unreliable witness and she's probably not going to be helping Jeremy much at all on this. I mean, how can J Jennifer Burton help Jeremy get out of the charge of failing to report the change in his vehicle ownership because he's a registered sex offender from 20 years ago and he's required to register all that stuff with the state when changes happen and he doesn't do it. So how's Jennifer going to do that? Uh, help him? She's going to say she owned the car. She tried to register it. She owned the company. Doesn't make any sense. Maybe that she's the one that rented the car that he wasn't supposed to have or something. There was a motion filed, a notice of intent to rely on certified records, followed by the prosecution on August 6th. We haven't looked at that yet. Let's look at that now. They filed this notice of intent to rely on upon business records, and then they list some records here. It looks like the FLHSMV records, which, as we all know, those are the Florida Highway Safety and Motor Vehicle records. The FDLE Digilant, Digilant Search records, that's the Florida Department of Law Enforcement Enterprise records, I believe that's going to be for Enterprise Rent-A-Car, showing that Jeremy DeWitt is the one that rented those cars. They're also going to be getting the Osceola County jail calls and the Osceola jail calls, the DMARC communications messages. And that's where you can um, message with inmates at the uh, Osceola County jail. It's the smart jail system. So they're going to be getting his written messages, his recorded phone calls with Jennifer, the signed records and payment records from Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and then the uh, Florida law enforcement and highway and safety records to use against him at his trial. Of course, we know that the prosecution usually drops the ball on this sort of stuff. I mean, we are dealing with Justin Wayne Collins of the Ninth Judicial Circuit, the assistant state attorney, Andrew, Andrew Bain, and we all are familiar with Justin Collins, and he uh, hopes to get a plea agreement going. And if he ever has to go to trial, you know, he's probably unprepared because he's overworked and underpaid, and there's just too much documentation. He can't keep it all straight. You know, they want plea agreements. They're like, you know, we're not used to going to trial. We're not litigators. We're just assistant state attorneys. No offense to Justin Collins, trying his best. Give it a good go there, Justin. So those are the status updates for today, F-Boy Friday, August 16th, 2024. New updates in his uh, federal tax fraud trial, and that's going to be forthcoming at the end of this month. And also some changes and depositions coming up in his Osceola County trials. I really appreciate you guys watching. I freaking love you guys. Lots of fans, lots of fans. Appreciate you watching the Jeremy DeWitt Show right here on Police Tube's Uncle's channel on the exclusive internet hosted by YouTube. And that's all I got for you today. Just make sure that you have yourself a good rest of your day, and I'll talk to you later.